there. You in there? Get in there. All right. Welcome to our uh, Friday Flex. Uh, so uh, thank you all for uh, your time. This is Keith. And this is Joseph. I command you to grow. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, last, <laughs> so last week uh, we were talking about uh, rumors. And now, uh, now that we've understood kind of how, how to respond to rumors and so forth, um, now we can talk about accepting and overcoming challenges because challenges are a part of everyday life. And, and so, a part of growth, too. A part of growth. Uh, I remember hearing this uh, football coach uh, saying you have to uh, be comfortable in being, accept you have to be comfortable in being uncomfortable. And that's so that is one of the uh, most real statements I've, I've, I've heard in my adulthood because we often do things where we run away from challenges. Of course, we don't, we're not uh, masochists where we're, we're looking for uh, <laughs> for pain <laughs> but uh, in the sense of we're, we're trying to understand that uh, whatever challenges we're facing are ultimately for our growth yes and I remember some time ago uh, I think it was last year you were talking about uh, how the tissue and muscles grow mm -hmm. after uh, working out mm -hmm. uh, by challenging the muscles what happens Yes. to the uh, to the to the, to the muscle, to the muscle. The muscle fiber in short just to keep it really brief is that um, and this also works with bones too mm. that's the other thing is that but we'll just stick with the muscle well, right well, now we're gonna do both <laughs> well, it's a similar concept so we'll just stick with the one <laughs> and you can understand the two okay. so uh, in short you literally have to tear the muscle fiber mm. And that actually stimulates the growth because there has to be the repair of that muscle fiber. Mm. And so one important aspect, I know we talk about flexing, but you also have to stretch that muscle as mm. well. Mm -hmm. So mm. it helps with bringing in more oxygen to that muscle fiber and of course helping with the growth mm. of that muscle. So you have to flex, mm -hmm. and you also have to learn how to properly stretch and relax that muscle as well. So how, so the, of course, the, the bone is a little different from tissue. You can't uh, stretch it, <laughs> yeah. but with the bone, okay, yeah. we'll do that quickly as well. Um, so you have your osteocytes, so osteo, bone, sites, you know, cells, right? So when you break your bone, mm -hmm. or sometimes you'll see people who are either boxers or they do some form of martial arts mm. where they get fractures in the bones, whether in their fist or in their legs or feet, you know, because they're either kicking mm. or so forth. And so, again, the bone is broken or there's a fracture and there has to be repair of that bone. Mm. And so then you have those uh, osteocytes that come in and they start repairing the mm. bone like that. And it actually, if done enough times, meaning repair, like break or fracture, mm. repair, some of the martial artists and boxers, their bones can become as hard as steel, mm. which is really far out. I remember uh, uh, to, that, uh, to that example when I was doing Muay Thai for several years, mm -hmm. they would uh, give us um, like these, these pretty firm tie pads where you had to you had to kick into the pad and mm. then mm. Uh, sometimes uh, more often than not mm. instead of using the pads you had to check with your own shin like if somebody's kicking check check meaning? check a kick like stop a kick oh oh check yeah, like yeah, check yeah. block yeah yeah like gotcha. yeah yeah check okay. block okay. so uh, so during so during martial arts um, when someone was kicking you had to hold your knee up yeah. or you, and, and you would get all the impact would be in the shin. Uh, but over time, the shin would get like tough. It would yeah. get kind of, uh, kind of knobby, uh, but it would callous up. So yeah, yeah. next time you check the kick, it wouldn't like, it, it, it would, it would be, it wouldn't hurt as bad. Mm -hmm. And so I was thinking to myself while in the process, it hurt, you know? Yes. 
Yes. And and so during the process, it was it was hurting. And I'm like, you know, I was thinking, oh, why am I doing this? This is beyond cardio. This is like, this is torture. <laughs> I was thinking this to myself. <laughs> right. and, and so uh, after I was able to see the results, I was like, oh, so this is why mm -hmm. yeah, this it was this it was this initial pain or this initial discomfort. Pain, pain before pleasure, as Rick James mm. says. And, yes. And so, uh, so you, I, I asked him to give it to me, baby. You know, that's what, <laughs> <laughs> so. Are you in, are you, good morning, coach. I'm, I'm awake. You, you awake. I'm awake. <laughs> so, so I, uh, so, but I was accepting that, that, mm -hmm. that challenge to my bones mm -hmm. to help develop growth. Yes. Yes, no, that's very true. In NLP, it speaks on how the brain, or specifically the mind, the brain, how it's willing to make whatever necessary adjustments so they can acquire the information nicely. Mm -hmm. And so we see how beautiful this body is actually designed, or you could say engineered, so that if there's something that's lacking, mm -hmm. maybe we need more endurance in a certain mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. you know, for cardio, whatever, right. or or. Or again, martial arts, uh, Muay Thai, you know, the bone needs to become stronger. So mm -hmm. fractures, it rebuilds mm -hmm. and, and repairs. And so it's amazing how the body, it's so quick mm -hmm. to do the necessary repairs so that next time you experience that kick mm -hmm. and you have to check it, now mm -hmm. you're able to withstand that impact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just like when you're when we're in school and the teacher gives you a pop quiz. Mm -hmm. You don't like it because you're right. you're not ready you're for not it. Ready. You don't see it. I ain't ready, I, coach. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't ready. Yeah. Hey, hey, what'd you get for number one? You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we're not ready for it. But that's what the teacher does, right? Mm -hmm. When you have a coach, the coach does the same thing. They're actually preparing you for your actual test. Mm -hmm. You know, so that way, when you actually have to face that test, and that test could be anything in life, really. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be relationships. It could be work. It could be, I meant, really anything. You know, even, <clears throat> even when we have to give up this body, even that's a test in itself, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no matter what, life is a great teacher. Sometimes you'll see someone's um, LinkedIn and, and you see on there, it's, it says school and it says life. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, and I'm right. not talking life serial either, you know, but that we have to go sometimes through the school of hard knocks mm -hmm. so that we can actually be ready for those important moments in life, mm -hmm. those important tests that we have to come, come up to or mm -hmm. um, pass, right. you know. So, yeah, that, that's really... That's good that you got. Did you get any knobs on your knees? Anything you like know, that? You know, it's been so You're long. On them? They 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 kind of softened up. Softened up. Bit. I got you a know. little soft soft yeah. shins. I know my hands are not as callous as they used to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I I, I think often of how even in relationships oh. there's that challenge. Yeah. There's that yeah. that challenge that that happens and uh, <clears throat> confirmed and 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 oftentimes. The challenge uh, are reviews of what we either know or we don't know. Good point. And so it's that it's that uh, remembering. Oh, did uh, did I remember a special date, or did I, um, you know, just certain things cause certain challenges, and that challenge is the opportunity for uh, those who are in a relationship where they want to grow. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I'm experiencing this over and over again. So uh, what challenge, uh, what opportunities does this challenge bring? Yes. You know, and so it is, it is this opportunity of, uh, uh, or seeing this challenge as an opportunity mm -hmm. that allows us to know, okay, there, there may be some tearing. There mm -hmm. may be some uh, fracturing or some uh, calcification, I guess. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's the right word. <laughs> <laughs> east side, the east I see side, you. Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. <laughs> so, uh, so it it allows for that calcification uh, in a relationship where calcification. 
it allows for say it again, say it, again. <laughs> it allows for us to to become stronger. Yes. And that area in the relationship to become stronger, as long as we're meeting the challenge with a the the best mindset. Oh, that's a very good point. Because some people don't have the right mindset. Mm. They look at it as, why is this person trying to set me back mm. or hold me up? Mm. Or why do I feel like I'm being blackballed? You know, maybe different challenges come up and you may feel a certain way. Mm. And it's true that if we don't have the right mindset, then we don't benefit from the, the opportunity for growth, mm -hmm. the, the, the challenge. Um, but if we do have the right mindset, mm. <laughs> and again, not some fanatic person that's like, bring it on, you know, yeah, but yeah, someone yeah. that's like, wow, here's an opportunity for me to actually, you know, step outside of my comfort zone. Because mm. so many of us, we get so comfortable. Mm, mm. We get so comfortable and so lazy. We got our feet up, you know, and um, max and relaxing, max and relaxing. And, you know, uh, how does um, uh, C.T. Fletcher uh, <laughs> sometimes he's like, you know, you Captain Crunch eating wet noodle, you know, yeah, 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 <laughs> it's yeah. like it's still your set, meaning you as a human being, you have this beautiful opportunity. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of it where if you just push yourself just a little bit and it's not that one has to go too far outside of that comfort zone, mm -hmm. just like we see in um, uh, Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi is teaching Danielson, how to handle uh, the bonsai tree. Ah. And so with the bonsai tree, um, one thing that's pretty cool about bonsai is that, or just any tree, if you're gardening, you know, dealing with plants like tomatoes or what have you, is that it's not something that occurs in terms of the way it, you want it to grow. It's not something that happens instantaneously. Hmm. There's small steps that you take mm -hmm. and you have a wire sometimes to help guide the branch to grow a certain way. Mm -hmm. It's not, again, that you force it into a shape because if you force it, then there's the great possibility of breaking that branch. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you guide it gently, then it goes in the direction that you want it to grow. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and that's why I think it's beautiful that you, you know, the way you put it in terms of having the right mindset. Because in that way, and of course we do things within the proper scope, within a proper limit, that way we don't break ourselves. We don't put ourselves in a position where it's like now we're back at square one mm -hmm. and we didn't make any progress or we lost all of our progress. Mm -hmm. But we do it in a way in terms of when we take on challenges mm -hmm. um, with the proper mindset. Sometimes you need some help, you know, a, a team. Mm -hmm. You know, I think of these individuals that do ultra marathons of like running 50 miles or running 100 miles or more. And it's like, you, when you watch these individuals that do the Ironman, when you watch them doing all these unique races and so forth, they have a team, mm -hmm. a support team. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you're in the zone and sometimes you may not have the right mindset. You know, sometimes you may be pushing yourself so much or so hard and you don't realize that, wait a second, you have to stop, slow up, and you have to retreat, meaning you have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like sometimes we don't have proper grace mm -hmm. and we could be so harsh to ourselves that we never realize that, you know, you do have to take a moment to rest. You know, like if you have an ax, you have to sharpen your ax. So sometimes we need that outside voice, someone from our team to give us some guidance and say, hey, you know what? Take this day, take a little easy, take a little slow, mm -hmm. rest up so you can heal and at the same time grow mm -hmm. and be able to properly flex when you have your test. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, uh, we, we don't become stronger without challenges. No. So if, there, if there's a, a weight that... Um, you know, I, so for example, uh, you know, my daughter has challenges, you know, keeping, you know, her head, you know, so it's like above water, above her shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so, Good times. <laughs> and so, you know, so she's, you know, kind of she'll be on on the on the floor or even on my chest, mm -hmm. and you know, she's, you know. Trying, trying to keep stable, and or maybe she's just working out her neck. 
but she's also working on her neck to, to develop strength, but it's uncomfortable, right? Because you can only do it for so long until it's yeah, like... You get tired. You get tired. That bad boy heavy after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Curl! <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, it's like... Uh, and so... But we see as the parents, we, we see this as a natural part mm-hmm. of her growth is this, this challenge that she's facing, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. being and, and understanding, okay, even though while she's in it, she's like, I don't know, I, they keep putting me on my stomach and I, I got to I gotta, I gotta fend for myself. And so she's using her elbows and, and, and arms and, you know, just wiggling. And <laughs> so she's exerting so much energy. Right. But... What she doesn't know, or I mean, she may be aware of this, and uh, and I, I don't know. But what she doesn't know is that after so many times, that it won't be difficult. You mm-hmm. know, it'll mm-hmm. be okay. Now mm-hmm. I can just hold hold my head up and without difficulty, mm-hmm. not to wobble. You know, and and so a lot of times in life when we are challenged with something. Maybe she's uh, just preparing for bobbing and weaving. <laughs> she always keeps this, this right hand up. You know? You know, so it's, it's, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> she a fighter. You don't even know. She got hey. a little boxing gloves on. I seen her. Hey, yeah. She got hands. Yeah. She will bless you. <laughs> <laughs> the laying of hands. <laughs> so... <laughs> In the book of Keith Ewing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we see that uh, we see that like everything in life teaches us something, and so in this process of being a father, I'm seeing okay, there's she's experiencing challenges right now mm-hmm. that are for her benefit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as a parent, mm-hmm. we're like, oh, you know, uh, uh, we don't want to put her in any discomfort, right. unnecessarily, right. Um, and so, but this is this is what they call it, tummy time. Tummy uh, time. Tummy time. This is a necessary um, discomfort that mm-hmm. that has to be developed because more than just uh, her being close, uh, uh, or more than just making her fend for herself on the stomach is is at stake. You know, mm-hmm. so growth. We have a comment here. Uh, since your mom says, let's see here. What does mommy what, say? What does mom say? Hi, mommy. <laughs> Not having the right mindset could be the result of fear of the unknown. Mm-hmm. So I've learned to do the positive self-talk. Self-talk, yeah. Yeah, that's critical. Yeah. And, and so it, it's... Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And so there's... Uh, but in, in the process, we, we often forget that this... this um, there is light at the end of the tunnel yes. with these challenges. Yes. And yes. that um, the challenges, whether it's in relationship, whether it's in the gym, whether uh, it's in spiritual community, mm-hmm. uh, these challenges are ultimately meant for our development. Yes. And, yes. and so if, you know, if we're having a disagreement in, in a community, it's because generally the, the, the two parties have some, uh, there's some lack of communication or some mm-hmm. improper communication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so the challenge is to figure out how to hear what the other person is saying. Mm-hmm. And, and it could be a little difficult in the beginning. It could be very difficult in the beginning because they're challenging our, our thought process. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. challenging our uh, our perspective, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so because naturally the human instinct, we don't like to be challenged. It is like then that person becomes my enemy. Instead of yeah. this person is helping me redefine my my thought process, mm-hmm. and also I'm redefining my thought process by mm-hmm. their by their you know disposition. Right. It's almost like two stones, or should I say, two minerals of equal hardness polishing each other in a rock tumbler. Mm-hmm. It's like that. Mm-hmm. And, and so to, to be able to understand, like, okay, so, um, you know, I, this person, I don't like them because they say this to me or they do mm-hmm. this to me mm-hmm. um, without, without understanding that using the NLP presupposition that, that people are doing what they feel is best at that time. Right. 
Right. And so if we're doing what we feel is best at that time, uh, then of course we're not going to see what we do as a prob problematic. Correct. Right. But those who understand, okay, this is, the, this is their level of communication. This is mm -hmm. their, whether the lack or abundance of communication, mm -hmm. this is where they're at. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand, okay, well, the, let me, how, do I, how do I communicate this? How do mm -hmm. I, um, and, and know that there's still going to be challenges, mm -hmm. um, but we can, we can use these challenging situations for growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and oftentimes in, in these situations, if we can see that first, if if we're continuing to have this challenge with different people, then mm -hmm. this is a test we're failing. <laughs> True, we are failing this test. Yeah. Um, especially like if, if it's like, hey, this is I'm noticing this in you, and. Multiple people are saying this. Okay, I'm, I must this this challenging that the universe that is sending is I'm 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 missing it. I'm missing it. So, I ain't got it. <laughs> I, I ain't got it. You know, and so it it is um, being able to be humble in the sense of hmm. Okay, uh, this is a reincurring challenge, mm -hmm. uh, and generally when the same type of challenge reoccurs is because we have passed. Right. Just like right. you mentioned this idea of pop quizzes. Mm -hmm. You know, the pop quiz, it's a challenge, but it's meant to see how much, you, how much do you know now. Right. And have you actually been working on yourself? Have you been working on yourself in the process? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Because uh, a lot of times we'll take a pop quiz, bomb that bad boy, <laughs> and then <laughs> we don't study. Yeah. We don't we don't prepare ourselves for the next one because we get oh this this is a one time challenge yeah just a one time this, this pop quiz don't happen like you know and then nothing but a peanut you know then <laughs> then it happens again and it's like oh uh, this think I better get ready <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna keep coming you know and and it is, it is those individuals who do not uh, see that life is always going to happen oh yes and. You mentioned uh, on people's LinkedIn page, life uh, was school of uh, life. Yeah, school you know, of life. <laughs> life is the best teacher <laughs> because um, while there are there, you can see the the care is there, but also the hey, you gotta you gotta fix this. Mm -hmm. You gotta work on this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and mm -hmm. so, uh, and, and that's why a lot of times it, it helps having. Uh, a therapist, mm -hmm. not the rapist. Uh, it has, it, it's, it's necessary to have a therapist in one's life. Uh, the backstory to that before <laughs> some people are going to hear that, like, what, what is this? So, so a family member of mine, I'm not going to say who it was, I explained to them some years ago that I was going to a therapist, and he said, you know what? Uh, let, me, <clears throat> let me not change my voice so somebody may know who I'm talking about by changing my voice. He said, so... Uh, when you go to a therapist, you're going to the rapist. And uh, I didn't know how to answer that. I didn't know how to respond. That was, that was my challenge. <laughs> that was my challenge. But anyway, the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the, the point is that with, because we're going, if we know in life we're going to experience challenges, Oh, RJ here says life is always going to happen. Yeah, life, life is always going to happen. So that's right, Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a box of chocolate. You never know. What <laughs> <you're gonna get. laughs> but that's true. It is very true. <laughs> like a box of different challenge chocolates. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is <one's> salty. <laughs> that was bitter. <laughs> that was old. Oh. You know? <laughs> so, but but. You, we, we don't know when it's coming, but mm -hmm. the more we understand this about life is that there's going to be a challenge. There's going to be something that is going to strengthen us, whether it's calcification of, of you know, bones, bones or, or, or uh, building muscle or anything. It could be anything in, in life. Or one's emotion. Not, 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 mm -hmm. not, not, let me not say emotion in the sense of uh, being hard, but um, tough skin. Hmm. Being able to develop tough skin in the mm -hmm. sense of, 
you know, if we understand, like I used the previous example, if we understand that uh, people are only using what tools they are born with mm -hmm. or they've grown up with, mm -hmm. then we can understand this is the best they got. Mm -hmm. And so by understanding this is the, the best that they have, mm -hmm. then we can be more empathetic to mm -hmm. what's being said and mm -hmm. that, thin, that, that, that thin skin gets a little tougher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's one thing I do want to mention. Um, mm -hmm. You used the word humility a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And especially when there's miscommunication um, or an opportunity of growth in a relationship between two individuals. Right, right. Um, is that for that humility and that willingness to grow, it works best when it's mutual. Because, yes, the other person, they may be truly where they are, and that may truly be the tools that they have in their tool belt. Mm. That's without a doubt. But, again, mutually, even if someone sees that they are lacking, hopefully they understand, they have the humility to understand that they're lacking in some area. <laughs> I ain't got it. I ain't got it. <laughs> but if they're able to say, you know what, let me... Uh, like, like if they can inquire, if they can say, like, hey, you know what? This is where I'm at, but maybe there's something that I'm not able to see that maybe you see, you know? Can you kind of help me or can you point out something to me? But that you know? takes humility. It, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm only human. <laughs> but if we're human, we have and should have humility. <laughs> <laughs> Very Only good. humans have humility, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But it's very important um, because, therefore, without that humility, then we think we got it all figured out and we're not going to grow at all. Mm -hmm. We just remain um, calloused over. Okay. We become stone-hearted. Mm -hmm. Our heart is not soft enough to even want to go deeper in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's why, unfortunately, I'm just going to go down this alley for a quick go second. Go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, no, it's not Alice? a rabbit hole. It's Alice? just an alley. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like dark places. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> is that, you know, sometimes that's why we see that there is a break in certain relationships because, you know, this willingness to even be vulnerable mm -hmm. in a relationship to say, you know what, I just don't know what I'm doing or I'm not understanding something, or just to ask a question, you know, and it's not to ask or inquire in a challenging way, but we see from the great sages that there's at least six types of loving exchanges. Six. <laughs> Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. <laughs> six. <laughs> I plead the one, two, three, four, six. <laughs> Two out of those six is um, to reveal your heart and confidence mm -hmm. and to seek advice. Mm -hmm. And to be able to seek advice and to inquire and say, you know what? I ain't got it, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> is this something that you see that maybe I cannot see? Or how can we make you know, the communication better or so forth? If, if the one other person, you know, if the, of the two individuals, that one person is not willing to do that, then you can't go forward. You, you know what I mean? There's not going to be any growth. Um, so it has to be a mutual thing, that willingness to grow mm -hmm. in that relationship to, you know, it takes two to make a thing go right. Go right. It takes two to make it out, out of sight. sight. Okay. <laughs> 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 so that's one thing I was mentioning or thinking about. The other thing, because um, there's a story in the NLP Essential Guide, and the author and his wife, mm -hmm. they had a son that was not necessarily being bullied, but just had a hard time as a young child playing baseball and just connecting socially and mm -hmm. emotionally with other kids mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. And so the parents, the author in this case, um, was always there thinking that we need to protect our child, protect our child. And yes, parents should protect their child mm -hmm. um, without a doubt. But, excuse me, but the, the parent, the author, um, and his wife, they actually had a conversation and they got 
some outside counseling and what have you, and they started realizing that, you know what, in our minds as parents, you know, the author, he was thinking there's something wrong with our child. Hmm. And so because they had this thought in their child, they didn't realize that that thought that they had, that our child is going through a challenge right now. Mm -hmm. But because the parent is thinking, oh, no, my child is, is experiencing some discomfort, some challenge. Maybe there's something wrong with my child. They, 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 they did not realize that their thought, although it's their thought, they may have kept it amongst themselves, but suddenly it was coming through their action in their relationship with their child. Mm -hmm. And they didn't realize that they were... Um, disadvantaging or putting their child at a disadvantage mm. because they were not allowing the child to have certain experiences. And so when they realized to hold back just a little bit, they checked themselves before they wrecked their relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Chickity check yourself before you wreck, wreck yourself. yourself. So then they were able to actually realize that, you know, nothing's really wrong with our child. Mm. And so before they knew it, really, there was nothing wrong with the child. The child was amazing really figured out how to play baseball, you know, and, right. and all these other different things connected with people and social. And the child is doing great as an adult now, you know, of course. And so I was thinking when you were describing your, um, your daughter and how she's going through that discomfort of keeping the head stable. Because, again, she's working out those stability muscles. A lot of mm. people don't work out stability muscles. That's why you they're know stable in relationships. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they think that if you focus on the bicep and on the tricep and the quads and the hamstrings, you need to just try to get big, focus on the big muscles, yeah, yeah. but they neglect the stability muscles. But really what they don't realize is that the stability muscles is what keeps it all together. So you can have all the big muscles all you want, but if you don't do things like calisthenics, you know, and isometrics and so forth like that and stretching and everything and holding those poses like planking and so forth, if you're not doing enough of that, not working those stability muscles. The core. The, the core. The My, core. <laughs> you own it. Good morning, America. <laughs> that if we don't work those core muscles, then, you know, you can have all the big muscles all you want. But without the core muscles, yeah, you're not going to be able to keep things together. Right. And so when you were mentioning that, I was thinking how in life, when we see that another person is going through a challenge, how, due to the softness of our heart, sometimes we're too quick to jump in to try to help the person. I'll give an example to kind of make it a little more clear, is that sometimes, actually there's a story, but I won't go too deep in that story okay. for the sake of time, but the caterpillar is in a cocoon that is very uncomfortable. And so in this story, this man is seeing this caterpillar in this tight situation undergoing just this discomfort all just bundled up in this little cocoon and so he thinks oh let me save the caterpillar and because he took the caterpillar out of the cocoon prematurely mm. the caterpillar never developed into the butterfly mm. which is supposed to be so sometimes it's subtle but it's a challenge for us when we see someone else going through a challenge that sometimes some people my mom told me this the other day, mm -hmm. and it's so funny because I, I don't realize, you know how sometimes they say parents don't realize how much their children listen to them? Well, sometimes the children don't realize how much their parents listen to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So my mother's telling me something about, uh, about something I told her some time back. <laughs> so she was like, well, son, you know, some people are just like an unripe banana. It's like a green banana. You just can't go ahead and start picking green bananas. Otherwise, you'll fall out the tree yourself or hurt yourself in the process. Mm. I'm like, Mama, you so right. And I'm thinking to myself, why are you taking my words? <laughs> <laughs> I said that. I said that. <laughs> but actually, I'm quoting someone else, you know. So mm -hmm. in the same fashion that, you know, sometimes some people actually have to go through a certain process in order to go through their metamorphosis. There was a, you know, just like a diamond mm -hmm. has to go through an immense heat and pressure mm -hmm. in order to become a diamond. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it just remains a, a, a lump of coal, maybe at best graphite for a pencil. Mm -hmm. You know, what are you saying? You know, I was uh, thinking about the great <laughs> philosopher um, from the uh, Society of the Three Six Mafia. He said, oh, uh, uh, he said Three uh, Six Mafia. Yeah. There was, a, there was a song called, Don't Save Them. They don't want to be uh, saved. They don't want to be saved. So sometimes, sometimes you can't save them. You have to allow them 
to go through that 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 challenge. But I want to be saved. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And, and a lot of times, like we, just so you know, I drink water in the morning, and I have a smoothie. That's all this is. Oh, so no, there's no alcohol in the smoothie. No, no, I don't drink. I don't smoke. Yeah. Keep it. It's all just, clean. Just, Zero just, emissions. It's all up here. It's, all, it's in the heart. <laughs> so, but a lot of times we we see someone that um, is in a compromised position, mm -hmm. but they're the ones that have compromised themselves, mm -hmm. and now this is. Life teaching them hard knock. Hello? Yeah. Come in. <laughs> yeah. And so we have to allow that person to experience the, the hard knock before we yeah. say, okay, let me, let me get this person out of this situation they put themselves in. Because yeah. a lot of times if you, if, you, if, you, if you superimpose yourself in someone's life while they're experiencing a challenge to, mm -hmm. in order to try to save them, mm -hmm. then they become dependent, mm. and they also do not learn how to develop the skill of, of growth. Yeah. And yeah. so we, we, we give them a crutch, mm. mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so this, this, this crutch is, we're responsible for it because without properly saying, okay, this is, if the, if the person did not ask me for help um, and we're able to differentiate mm -hmm. or, or intelligently discriminate information, mm -hmm. notice how I said intelligently discriminate, not just discriminate, uh, but mm -hmm. we can understand, okay, this, this, this person may need a helping hand, and this person, they're better off on their own, and I can support them. Like, hey, you're, this happens, you're, you're gonna get through this, this is what I've learned to help get through this, right. uh, was it feel, felt, found. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times in the, in the sales world, uh, when there's an objection, you, oh, I feel what you're saying. I found, you know, uh, I feel felt anyway. Mm -hmm. You can look it up. And so, uh, <laughs> so, um, but we look at we look at life in such a way where, um, if sorry, if we can look at life in such a way where we can experience challenges with an open mind, mm -hmm. and and then take those opportunities to get thicker skin, mm -hmm. get uh, more, grow in our communication skills, mm -hmm. grow in our ability to perceive that which we, we think is um, one thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I remember, I'll give, uh, I'll give my cousin some, uh, some kudos. So, um, this a uh, couple years ago, uh, one of my cousins had, uh, uh, he gave me a little bit of information on politics. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was, of course, I've never been much into politics, but mm -hmm. I had very basic understanding. Mm -hmm. This party bad. This party good, you know. This is like man, this <laughs> caveman. <laughs> so mm, good, mm, bad. <laughs> and so, so when he would, when uh, so he challenged my my thought process and mm -hmm. said, "Well, just 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 look at look at different situations and investigate for yourself." Mm -hmm. And so, I realized, oh, it's not so black and white as I thought. And for, for a long time, I would, like, um, kind of argue with them, you know, mm -hmm. because this is, I didn't have another thought process. Mm -hmm. I had one thought process, and he challenged mm -hmm. another thought process. At least you were open to receive the challenge. I wasn't for a while. Oh. I was like, why are you sending me this nonsense? <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I saw something like that I was like, huh. He sent me this. And it's there's some relevancy to it. Mm -hmm. So though, let me of course, sometimes even if we're fighting if, if there's resistance, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is ultimately um, when we have an aha moment mm -hmm. where things aren't exactly how we perceive them to be, mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, or maybe maybe there's more to this than, than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times in life, there is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do you say? Fact. Believe uh, none of what you hear and half of what you see. Hmm. And so um, it is, but a lot of times we just, we believe all we see. A lot of times, yeah, that's true. Most, you know, now yeah, with the, yeah, with the art technology of, of yeah. AI, we're like, Oof. yeah. I know Martin Luther King died long ago. How's he taking pictures of Drake right now? You know, so it's like, okay, we can't, we have to develop. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> I'm only using examples I've seen. Come on. And I was like, uh, Drake wasn't even born. You know, <laughs> so how is this even, you know, but. But they, but we have to have that ability to discriminate information intelligently, mm -hmm. um, but accept that there's possibly another perspective that I didn't know about, mm -hmm. and to know it's okay if I don't know about it, but I should investigate with the open mind, yeah, just in case there is something that may have slipped through the cracks. Because right. as uh, uh, oh. Mom says be, we become more resilient, and that was just true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as we 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 mentioned quite often on on, on here is that uh, the human being has four propensities. Um, we make mistakes, mm -hmm. true, all the time. We are uh, subject to become illusioned, mm -hmm. we, imperfect senses, mm -hmm. and then finish the last one. Finish it. Finish Cheaters. It. Cheaters. <laughs> yeah. The cheating propensity. Yeah, we either. You know, so we cheat ourselves oh, and we, we cheat, cheat others. others. Yeah. yeah. And so this, because we, are, we have these things that are natural and normal in this human condition, mm -hmm. then our, and Use, going back to what you were saying about what we hear, we generalize, mm -hmm. uh, distort, distort, or we and, just delete. And to delete, <laughs> you know. And so this, it, I was thinking about this, you know, last night, how this is such a cool concept uh, or, or a cool way to understand how communication actually happens, you know. Yes. Um, and, and so while in the process of generalizing something, Oh, this is like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Then there comes that point of distortion. Yes, and some deletion in there too. There's distortion. <clears throat> this is what they mean, and whatever they said, we do, we delete that because it's not. It doesn't fit where we are. Mm -hmm. And so this and so this ties up in the four propensities to become illusion and to make mistakes. Right, right. And sometimes if we don't want to know something, we will tell ourselves. You know, so we will cheat ourselves. Cheat, gaslight, so many things. So many do. things. And, and we do not understand that the situation we're experiencing is a challenge for growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because we have all these other things happening within our mind in the process, we just, we, we, we see partial, right? You know of what's actually happening. Mm -hmm. You know, and so anyway. But I, 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 I don't thank them often, but I, I do. Uh, so when my cousin shares something, uh, I am a little more open to, to investigating with the open mind. Mm -hmm. You know, some stuff I'm like, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Uh, but for the most part, because um, there was a, he was able to 
explain something to me that I had preconceived ideas about, mm -hmm. then I was like, okay, okay, all right. I get it. I got it. Mm -hmm. uh, but you were going to, I thought you were going to say something. No, 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 no. And so when, so I, I think for us as an as a exercise when we're experiencing a challenge, um, we should ask, ask ourselves, like, how is this pressure that I'm experiencing, this discomfort, um, how is this going to help me? Mm -hmm. Is it beneficial? Is it beneficial? Does it help me advance in, as a person in my relationship with others? Or is it detrimental? Is it hurting me? Mm -hmm. Is it a setback? It, is it a distraction? Mm -hmm. Where it takes me this way when I should be focusing to go in that direction? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of questions that we should ask ourselves, definitely when we are facing challenges. <clears throat> and it's good, we should be able to ask ourselves questions uh, because the only person that really knows ourselves is ourselves. Yeah. Actually, I think that was one of the things that you had shared almost maybe a year ago hmm. about, um, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember properly, like if we have a negative thought in our mind and instead of just allowing that negative thought to happen us, and, you know, and, and, you know, haunt us, whatever, but to ask that thought questions. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. Like, I see or I understand that you're presenting this thought or idea to me, maybe um, because it's something that uh, I, maybe I'm going to make a step in a direction that could be hurtful to me. Or, you know, maybe it's for my protection or something like that. Or maybe, you know, I'm not paying attention to this or that. You know, sometimes <clears throat> asking those questions and trying to explore that situation a little bit more will help us uh, to properly receive the challenge mm. and, and to embrace the challenge as an opportunity for growth instead of thinking that it's something to, um, you know, uh, disturb us but we should always have some irritation, right? Mm -hmm. Just like, um, that's how you get pearls. Pearls. Yeah. Not curls. Pearls. But pearls. <laughs> <laughs> Is that if there wasn't a grain of sand to irritate the oyster, or if there wasn't a grain of sand to irritate the clam, mm -hmm. then it wouldn't create the pearl. Mm -hmm. You know? So beautiful things come out of little irritations. <laughs> <laughs> So when we have those challenges, yes, as a human being, we get better, we grow, you know, yeah. and then we acquire more tools. Mm. It's a fact, you know, whenever you face, you know, a certain challenge, I mean, if you think about what people had to deal with in the past and how they had to come up with new ways of either preserving foods or, mm. you know, doing different things, you know, maybe something that they had a tool broke and they didn't have, oh, sorry, maybe the, the machine that they were using broke, mm -hmm. but they never had like the tool to repair it or fix it. Mm -hmm. But then someone comes up with some idea like, oh, well, if you do this, or if we had this, then boom, now you can fix this and then, you know, upgrade and, and improve mm -hmm. things. So um, it's good to actually have challenges because, again, you actually acquire and you learn more about yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and you acquire more tools and you can put in your tool belt. You know. Tender to a man, Taylor. <laughs> what was that guy's name? Norm. Norm. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side of the fence. <laughs> <laughs> right, you never saw his face in the eyes. <laughs> Just the eyes. You know, uh, that, but it's funny. You know, using that example. Well, first, let me uh, just. Uh, kind of go back to what you're saying about being able to ask ourselves, like, hey, why am I doing this? Yeah. Like, what, what is the cause? What's the cause? What is the goal? What is the goal? Who am I? <laughs> what is the ultimate goal and how do I get there? You know, these are questions that we have to ask ourselves. Where am I right now? Point A, where am I trying to go in life? Mm -hmm. Point B, now, how am I going to get there? What steps do I need to take? You know, and sometimes we think that 
the, um, uh, there was a quote, I really would like to share it. Um, it was like one of these uh, Asian quotes, um, something to the effect of, I'll have to look for it and I'll share it with you okay, guys later. Okay, okay, you know, okay. but, um, but there's some quote in terms of um, not necessarily changing the, the challenge or changing the goal, but changing our steps, how we approach that goal, how we approach the challenge, mm. you know. Um, something to that effect. Mm. I'll have to find it for you guys mm. and, and I'll share it next time. But, but yeah. But yeah, no, it's, it's, it's powerful to be able to look at something from a different perspective and, and try to, especially if it's something that you've had difficulties with, try, try it another way. Um, was it Einstein said, you know, to do the same thing over and over again and to expect a different result is mm. madness, you know. And, and so, of course, um, because we're creatures of habit, we, we don't often like to do anything different. And that's true, because we're comfortable. Because we're comfortable. And because of this comfort, same one. Uh, yeah, uh, because of this comfort, we. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, bring my daughter in this one more time. <laughs> so when she's. Uh, she's gonna look at the recording like, Daddy, you talk about me so much. <laughs> you must love me. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that, um, uh, like, I, I noticed is that we're, uh, we're changing a diaper. You know, we have to we have to wipe her. You know, and so she's like, oh, "What is this? This is, this is uncomfortable." You know, you could have worn that cloth up a little bit more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like cold hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, so one of the cutest things for Ozzy Beck. So, this, <laughs> so, but you know, but she even in this discomfort, she's like. Uh, I think maybe I'm assuming this, but she's like, ah, even though it's just uncomfortable, I accept it, you know, <laughs> because I'm getting I'm getting cleaner, you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. But uh, and so anyway, just just thinking about um, the irritation that you 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 mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, I, I didn't know that uh, thing that element yeah. about you know yeah. uh, oysters. Or clams, clams they're the same thing, right? They're different, but still. Okay. They have shells. Clams don't grow pearls. Clams do. Clams oh. do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, different ones, they can, you know, the bivalves, they can do different things, you know. It's that West Side engineering education. <laughs> and, uh, so. Um, the Mollusk family. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, So yeah, but um, you know, understanding that that irritation is going to create something extremely valuable mm -hmm. is mind-boggling because we see so many examples in life um, and uh, things that are difficult, things that are challenging, but they lead ultimately to something better than before. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so the the analogy of the or the story about the uh, butterfly, um, you know, it never, uh, it never, after the, well, I, I I don't know the psychology of a butterfly, but I but I can I would think that sweetness, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get that neck. <laughs> But I, but I would think that, you know, the butterfly, after its transformation, is like, uh, would never want to stay that same caterpillar. Oh, it, it doesn't go for the bitterness. You know. It goes straight for the sweetness. Yeah. Because the caterpillar has to eat bitter. Is that oh, it has to eat the bitter leaves. Mm, yeah. I forgot that element. Yeah, yeah. And then when it's done eating all that, when it goes through the bitter stages, then mm. it, uh, it gets better. Mm. It becomes a butterfly and... Starts eating all the sweet nectarian flowers. So don't get bitter, get better. Get better. Get better. Stay better. Get swole. Get swole. <laughs> <laughs> Be so, flexing. So that uh, 
uh, there's any concluding points. Uh, I was going to say yeah. something, but how much time do we have left? We got three minutes. Three so. minutes. Okay. I'm going to try to keep it super quick. Quick. Um, I'll just jump off topic for a hot second. Jump Keeping off. it still with the uh, irritation mm -hmm. or what could be what we may consider or perceive to be an irritation. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to jump off topic just slightly, okay? I'm going to go a little spiritual here. You know how sometimes those little cartoons, mm -hmm. how um, you had the main character, it could be Bugs Bunny or it could be Daffy Duck, and then it had like an angel on one shoulder and it had like a little devil on the other mm -hmm. shoulder? Mm -hmm. And sometimes in life, sometimes we feel like we have that angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other shoulder, and, and sometimes we feel some irritation mm -hmm. in the world, or maybe it's our intuition, mm -hmm. you know, and we don't realize that uh, sometimes certain things happen a certain way for our own protection. Mm -hmm. And we may not realize that, that what we consider to be an irritation is actually almost like a loving embrace of God, you mm -hmm. know. Um, sometimes there are certain rules and regulations that are presented by great personalities, yogis or sages or, you know, great enlightened individuals. And that um, we think, oh, we don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. You just whatever. But we don't realize that these, this, a certain path is tried and true, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And that when we... Um, to the best of our ability, try to follow a certain path um, that we're staying within that loving embrace, for lack of better words. Mm -hmm. and, and when we don't hear those messages and warnings, even on our mental maps, mm -hmm. you know, in life, and, and it's just like when you have a, a car with the latest technology and you're backing up and there's a little beep, Mm -hmm. Beep, but then it grows louder if you're getting too close to mm -hmm. something that you don't need to be hitting. Mm -hmm. Beep, 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 like that. Mm -hmm. it, that irritation is there to protect us. Mm -hmm. And so um, to see that irritation, again, as an opportunity for growth and also to know that we're always loved, mm -hmm. you know, and to take that challenge on by the horns, you know, and, and embrace it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, ultimately, knowing everything is, uh, for the most part, as for our uh, evolution in our mm -hmm. spiritual, material life. And so being able to accept, uh, yeah, it's uncomfortable now, but... Um, it gets sweeter. It gets sweeter, you know, and, uh, and that's... And that's that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> cookies crumble. Yeah, if the cookies crumble, then you can make yourself a graham cracker crust. You could. And then make a pie with it. <laughs> Ooh, million dollar, baby. <laughs> a lemon pie. Lemon, lemon pie. Lemon meringue. <laughs> <laughs> but I do believe uh, I like pound cake. Pound cake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this wraps up our, our Friday Flex. So thank you all for your time. Oh. Stay flexing. Uh, and um, if you like it, please share, uh, comment, and uh, like it so we know that uh, you're finding this valuable. Okay? All Live right. responsibly. Live responsibly. All right. Take care.